I conquered the world as Afghanistan in Hoi 4 and caused three world wars with the combined casualties reaching 200 million dead men. This was by far my most painful challenge yet and the final war will haunt me in my dreams. Welcome to the final Hotswan challenge. The challenge to end all challenges. Hoi 4 A to Z world conquest. I'm I'm not looking forward to the A's and I'm not looking forward to middle America and we are obviously going to start with Afghanistan. Now if you do know something about Afghanistan it's that uh, they did a lot of it in World War II which is why we have a very unique focus tree and we have a lot of resource slots and we also have building slots as well as one factory. Do we have I think we yeah we do have the Persian Empire. Why do we need Turkey for that? So that's not gonna be something we can do anytime soon. That is certainly a division but this one is much more interesting because there's a tank in there. Let's just take a look at our research shall we? We have a gun but we do have a very nice general. The Vatican, Khan. A desert Fox with five attack. I will say I've never played Afghanistan before in Hearts of Iron 4 so I don't really have a plan thus far. We're just gonna see where the game takes us really. Political effort which allows us to hire the communists and then I'm just gonna go down a few of these focuses because the fascist branch has been nerfed heavily. Instead of 7% we now get 3% recruitable pop which if you look at our population isn't really gonna be that much. So instead it makes more sense to go with the indoctrination 400 manpower here weekly which if you combine it with marks is gonna be a lot. There's a whole 900 men that we get a week which is not gonna make any difference. I'm gonna hire the army morale guy. With that we can also create the most important division that we will need the cavalry division not because I intend to do anything funky with it's definitely only for garrisons what am I gonna do with six tungsten go to free trade for the insane construction speed bonuses gonna be so much faster we're gonna be done with our civilian factory in 1942 at this rate right in time for Barbarossa we'll have four factories commentant pact I am going to join the commentant pact but not the anti commentant pact I do have certain plans here Let's go political discourse, discredit government, as well as I guess because we can't flip to communism just yet. I am going to get the. <laughs> why do we have a carrier guy? Are we gonna desert storm America or why do we have a naval carrier guy? And then let's get the decisive battle guy. Because if you've realized, a world conquest kind of requires you to have a navy. National referendum. Why are you asking me for Ethiopia? I don't even know what that is. 2,000 people! <laughs> No shot, can I afford that? There we go, I'm gonna support Ethiopia, I guess. We could send our one tank division. I think that's not even that bad of an idea. <gasps> oh god, I forgot to hire marks. All right, Voicon. Oh, brilliant strategist. Timur, you are my friend. You are immediately a field marshal. We can now help Ethiopia. Mexico, holy shit, what? Ethiopia. You know what, let's just ram in there. I did my part. We're actually pushing Italy back. That was stupid. I don't want Ethiopia to exist. That's just more to conquer. We just don't have any tech. We don't have RT, we don't have air, we don't have any navy. We don't even have support equipment. Do we have a train? We probably don't even know what a train is. We don't know what a train is. I guess I can get a license production train from the Soviets. We are just going on Iran, join the Soviets. And I'm immediately gonna turn off allied supply so these guys can starve. I'm gonna hire a few more horses. The horses are my strategy against Iran. I don't really have anything else planned. We have an infantry genius. Yo. Okay, I'm gonna save for that guy. There we go. I'm gonna draw an arrow on Xinjiang. That should give this guy a little bit of Plop. organizer XP once we start the front. The horses are gonna do the one thing that they can do, which is run. And the other guys are just there for moral support, really. Usually, I would, you know, just make pockets and then use those pockets to win. But we don't have the punching power for that. So instead, we just have to kind of take the horses, ride, and hope we can win. There's no fighting gonna happen. We're just gonna rush into every VP. And then we're gonna tell the Iranian people that are no Afghanis. These guys, oh god, they just ran. There's like three divisions here now. That is a pretty good turnover so far though. Apart from this. Look at this, they're so close, they're 100% of... Okay, cool, we got it. This victory over Iran reminded me, if you subscribe, Merlin gets a treat. Goodbye. You know what, I'm gonna get the Prince of Terror already. We also have to put a prio on garrisons here. I wouldn't mind expanding into Iraq as well. Sadly, we can't form anything with it, but you know, it's still more land. But if we were to do that, then the allies would be like, oh no, you can't control all of the Middle East. 
TV. They're gonna conquer the world and control all the oil if you do that. Fuck you, Chamberlain. It hurts that we have to start building mill factories with 10 whole factories. It's 1939. <laughs> I have 15 factories. And I'm gonna just research the basic medium tank chassis for no particular reason in particular. And I guess it's time to go mobile warfare with Afghanistan. World War II joins the battle. And really, at this point, like, there's... <laughs> What am I gonna use anything on? One units of truck is added to the national stockpile. That's, oh my god, that's so worth it. Wow. There we go. Let's go with the M1 Abrams tank in World War II. All right, then let's uh, design our tank then. Motorization drive. And time to do a lot of clicking. I don't have trucks yet. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna wait until we have trucks done. There we go. With that, we also have our medium Abrams flame tank. I wouldn't mind this. But I will say the tanks are gonna be way too expensive. Let's go for something like this. And then we can get marks back. I do like that we don't even know what a plane is. And we already have half of our plane doctrines. We don't even have an airframe or an engine. I am a bit of a theoretical professional myself. At this rate, we are legitimately gonna have a single division by the time Barbarossa starts. I am gonna keep the militia around. But realistically, we're not gonna use them anytime. They are gonna stay there for the next 10 years. And then we can finally think about expanding there you go logistics and uh, that is gonna be our tank template for a little while which also just reminded me we should have the better howard so now there we go favorosa is coming and i'm not ready the soviet union is influencing our politics a bit too late for that if i'm being honest Soviets, i am going to join you because that allows me to get my fourth resource slot wait Where's Romania? What happened to Romania? <laughs> Why are they in the Allies? What did I miss? Just wait, Stalin. Soon. Soon I'll be ready with two tank divisions. It's gonna win the war for you. There we go. The tanks are ready for Afghanistan. All right. Ethiopia is already guaranteeing them. Fall of Rome. No. I need to get Italy. I need the industry. There we go. Let's change the militia. Just have to be careful here. Because I'm not sure what exactly I can afford here. That looks okay. There we go. The tanks are ready. Not sure they're gonna be able to do anything here looking at how chunky the German offensive is. Ideally, Ethiopia is just gonna guarantee everyone and then the allies are not gonna guarantee them because then we can actually conquer a little bit of land. I mean, just the Middle East really and not Turkey because Turkey is guaranteed by the UK and the Axis. All right, let's do a little bit of work with our tanks here. We could actually get total mob and I think that is... Total mob is worth it right now. Let's get women in the whams. Oh my. <laughs> the front line. Please stop moving it. Okay, that's not gonna work for a while. I'm gonna call this back and we're gonna have to conquer Iraq anyway. That is uh, half a chassis. I want my research back. Huh. I think I sent us to the wrong department. We can go into Iraq. I'm already gonna justify on Saudi Arabia. Kind of surprising that there's no Italian civil war yet. We have to go in. The UK is gonna steal Iraq from me. I have to be super quick here. If they use their claim on Iraq, they're gonna declare war on the African Union and then all of the land that I want to conquer, I won't be able to conquer. That should, ah, oh, come on, there's one more. But that's the only VP that they have left. There we go. Iraq is ours. Legitimately, there's nothing I can do there. I need to wait for the Fleeks Marine to be ground to dust. Before that, there's no point to doing anything over there. I guess we can also get this thing. <laughs> They're gonna be my best friend for this challenge. Oh, Saudi Arabia don't have anything. Oh, they're in the axe. No, why are you in the axis? Oh, they weren't guaranteed. Come on, Ethiopia. Thank you. At least they guaranteed Oman. Turkey joins the allies. Wait a minute. If the Axis dies, they're gonna do the Brussels Treaty. And that's gonna split up the Allies. That's our chance. Don't have any supply here at all, but that's gonna be fine. We just ram in here. And we walk into Muscat and that should be it. I think at this point I am actually gonna start building some civilian factories. Because that's gonna be a long, long battle. The Italy front has not moved at all in the past two years. In terms of resources, do we have something now? Just oil. I can't build a tank out of oil. It's not gonna be a big difference. But hey, if we can get just one civilian factory or half a civil, even half a civilian factory is gonna be a big difference. No! Oh, why did you join the Axis? America, I sure hope you don't mind this. But I... I need something here. Holy shit! Thank you, Stalin. With that, we can finally invoke the fifth research slot. Valikan, I think it's time for you to really show what you're capable of. I don't like the turkeys everywhere around me. If I can get, like, the Rhineland or something to get some resources. I'm not gonna say I'm 
content with that, but I'll be able to live with it. Liberation of war, God, you're way too fast. Chill for a second, guys, please. There's no reinforcements here. <laughs> I really don't like how thin this offensive is. Just like my cock. There we go. Slovakia is... Part of the UK now. Exactly what I wanted. Oh, God. <laughs> We've already sold everything. Oh, collaboration government of Iran. You're not ready yet, but I appreciate it. Just because the supply in Hungary is not that great and there's a lot of Hungarians. We're gonna push into Poland first. It's 45. We don't even have 60 factories already. First pocket of mine in this game, I guess. I want more than 2% war score. Thank you, 3%. That's exactly what I asked for, technically. All right, the tanks are ready. Ah, no. No, Stalin has his world conqueror personality again. I cleaned my keyboard earlier and I was wondering how so much hair got in there and it makes sense now. Time to clean up, I guess. Oh Lord, what's happening in Germany? Why are you giving land to Finland? Now, I'm just trading all of my tanks and all of my men away and I'm not getting anything for it. Bro, we were here. We almost took out Hungary. How did the Soviets fuck up that badly? I'm not sure what exactly is the next best plan of action. Probably to pull out of here because I don't have any guns anymore. But if I do that, then we'll just have to scale off of this. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna pull out of Russia. Stalin! What are you doing? Give war score 4%. Let's go, boys. Aww, we're not gonna get anything. Okay, I'm also gonna send these guys on attacking. Like, right now, get war score. That's the only thing that matters to me right now. If all of them die, so be it. But I want to see bigger war score number. All right, let's get these tanks over here as well. We might be able to take Berlin. Okay, what happened to Germany? Like, they just collapsed suddenly. We did get Berlin, which is our 6% that we wanted. Okay, 300 points. What am I gonna do with 300 points? We did get Warsaw, which I'm very happy about. That's a lot of factories. We did get Piedmont. Very good. Lots of factories. We did get Transdanubia. A few factories and also resources. The uh, <laughs> Iron Curtain is very eye on this game. Uh, looks like the Poles are just bombing all of our equipment away. I'm actually gonna do basic infantry equipment for that. We can send our entire army over here like this. There we go. Doesn't have organized. Okay, he almost has organized. So we're gonna battle a bit more and then he also gets organizer which allows us to get Logistical Wizard. Okay, let's do Staff Office Plan. They have enough planning bonus. We're gonna attack here. I just want to get them out of the shite supply here. With that, we have the part cut up. Let's just take the supply up and then immediately I'm going to link it up just because that's so important here. We do have our infantry here just for all of the land capturing. So we have some support and the tanks aren't getting immediately encircled. That's Manchuria dealt with. Are we at war with China? We are not. Ooh, that's great. All right, I'm gonna join the Soviet Chinese war then. I shall create the offensive divisions. Don't need field hospitals on these guys. So let's get cavalry con. No! Fuck! I meant to duplicate this. Oh, I'll have to trade for so much crap from so many parties. Fall of Tokyo. Soviets are again doing so good in Japan. You know what? I'm actually gonna do something very stupid here. Something incredibly stupid. Something so stupid you shouldn't do it. But I'm gonna try and push with tanks through Jibi. Supply is looking pretty shite, but we can just push. So supply is not gonna be an issue. We're just gonna run away from the supply issues. 107 points. I'm gonna take this. The island from EU4. Russell's Treaty. France is still in the Allies. Okay, I'm gonna see if we can do something with the tanks in China then. I was coping a little bit that we could potentially do something here. As I suspected, the supply is just too much of an issue. Okay, I have to make the front smaller again. And then we can potentially just grab all of... Nope, we have to stop the war. Can't continue playing. What a shame. It's so chill in China when there's nobody here to contest you. Can I get a little bit of China, please? I've been conquering quite a bit for you. Okay, let's take all of these states and hopefully Hainan. You're not controlling it right now. Oh, well, I can't ask for it right now. Ideally, we can take out China before they do something stupid, which is either gonna join the allies or declare war on Tibet. Uh, potentially both. That's insane! Chiang Kai-shek did no China. China policy and he didn't join the allies. He joined the African Union. That's perfect for me. I can just take China. I'll let the Soviets take Ireland. I don't give a shit. Okay, the only major Indian United Front should be... Oh, the Guangxi are the... Oh, it's just... This is just getting better and better. Woo! 
Sadly, we don't have that much war score against China. I got one state. That is absolutely pathetic. At this point, we just kind of have to get to Ethiopia then. Okay, in the allies, there should be only two who are guaranteeing. The UK and Germany. France is communist now. So I'm gonna do a little bit of justification juggling here. Ooh, they joined the African Union. That's perfect. I'm so sorry, Poland. Oh, fuck. Okay, the UK is going in. Here's the plan. We are going to take out the problem that is Ethiopia. And then we can deal with the allies. If I just said air. But I'm not in the faction with the UK, so I can't send my planes there. Come on, get me out of this. Sure wouldn't mind a single British plane right now. Oh, the allies are going to get so much of China. Okay, I have to be careful here. Who is all in this peace deal? And we have five points left over, but I will... Don't Donate those to the allies. We got 20 states and a lot of this is here with a 6% resistance target right now. Very, very happy to see that. Oh my god, we can build three things at the same time. That's insane. And it's only gonna get more. Let's also go down to war economy because we are demobilizing right now. Oh no, I'm gonna lose PP. I will never be able to... Re wait, I didn't lose PP. I guess I will recover from this. Okay, I'm gonna pin with these guys, pin with these and make sure that we take this supply up and then immediately build this thing. And these these guys can also just move, it looks like. And these guys can move into this port. And the tanks I am going to send to North Africa because there's nothing here as well. I'm gonna switch to naval refit yards. Wouldn't mind it if there were a few Soviets backing us here. But I guess the tanks can hold for now. I'm gonna stop the attack. These guys should have supply now. Yes. And I'm just gonna send the tanks for some cleanup crew. Continue the attack here. Hopefully capture the sewers. That's just always a problem to push over here. The allies are prepared half decently. Which they are because they have four divisions here. And the tanks are not gonna make that. And then I would like to push into Antioquia. And... Chip of that. These are all pocketed. They only have this one port in Beirut. Austria was unschlussed. Nice. The Nazi party did something good because it actually was the Nazi party. But I think they kind of got the wrong memo. Soviet Norway is out. The Soviets are losing on every front. This might be very big what I can do here. This is one tank division. Rommel! Yes. Just have to wait for the Soviets to reinforce this a little bit. With that, we have Aleppo. And I'm just going to see if we can get in there. It's crazy that Turkey hasn't surrendered yet. Sure, they still own Istanbul but come on that's all your own you're not byzantium come on thank you germany i didn't want to keep transdanubia anyway it's just my entire aluminum supply that should be enough to capitulate turkey like just this one province while the tanks are here we might as well clean up the pocket here nowhere for them to run anymore now oh, let's just just clean it up completely which is also great because that's just gonna free up more soviet divisions naval invasion ah that's that's bold that's the downside because i was too efficient the allies now don't have anything to do so now they're gonna attack me okay let's go oh no let's go up here so we don't take the river crossing penalty wait a second for planning bonuses again and then we can crush basura okay as always clean it up nom 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 all the allies falling to my tanks okay okay i guess our next order of business is pushing into germany don't really like it because i'm not getting anything out of that oh, soviets man what are they doing i think i have to first deal with this pocket oh very cool you push a single tile and then you lost your front how cool and fun <laughs> and innovative there we go Dealt with that problem. Let's deal with Danzig. Phrasing! America's just gonna invade everywhere until they're out of manpower. <laughs> it's just, they're legitimately dropping in every single province that they can. Let's fucking go, man. Look at this, there's no Germans here. Ah. <laughs> It's so fucking ridiculous, man. The work is never done. Why can't I create the Middle Eastern section? I am the Middle East. All right, tanks. Let's clean up the Gdynia pocket again. I feel like we were here before. And we will probably be there again a few more times. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to lose my China land. No, 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 no. They're just walking around them. Come on, guys. Move a little bit. Let's just secure this pocket, I guess. Sure, let's let's clean up this pocket as well first. Another small pocket. Yay. Wilhelmshaven. And then they're all encircled as well. Wait, why is Bremen not the hafen? Germany's out. Let's quickly take out the Dutch then. Blitz into France. I freed half of Germany. Come on. At least give me France and the Benelux. And the push here was successful. Soviets still have a little bit of manpower. The Americans still have a lot of manpower. I do want two additional templates now. 
number one. We want some uh, actual uh, mountaineers with rangers and um, some actual marines instead of these. I, I guess I'll never be able to unselect the pioneers here. I'm not gonna push into Africa for a very simple reason. If we push here, we're gonna get all of Africa and then the Soviets will not give us any land. I'm gonna try and get some collaboration governments on the UK now. For a second I was like, oh god, that's a large offensive. But that's just a few units sneaking around. I'm gonna send the tanks over here next to the Balkan tank. Hopefully that gives the Soviets enough incentive to leave here and take a look at the front. That's actually more important right now. One of those five billion here. Here we go. That's a pocket that's been here for quite a while. Our mountaineers, they are ready to be deployed and we are going to pick El Generico. And then you can go here. I just love that British Malaya just isn't in the war. This entire thing and British Malaya is just like, no bro, I'm good. Come on guys. Just, just, just just push in here. Ideally, we can just take these, make something like this. Reinforcing everywhere. We made it. It's just so much crap on the front and I don't have planes. All right, the tanks, I think they are going to go over to Manchuria again. Just clean up this pocket. Vladivostok and Beijing. Get like half of you guys here. That's more than enough to hold here. Okay, cool. We have the port here. In that case, I can actually start sneaking with these guys. Not my China. The mountaineers, they have to go over here. Stop your stupid naval invasions, man. Cool. That pocket dealt with. Sure, I'm gonna send an attaché to the Soviets. Gives us war support, which I guess is cool. Ooh. Encirclement. And with that, we have Vladivostok. We have the port. I'm just gonna let this auto as well. Infantry expert for you. Great. Yeah, I guess we can just send the tanks here. What's up, Beijing? Guys, it's a port. Unprotected. Just walk in there. I have no idea what's going on here. Let's just press this button. It's gonna resolve the problem. Ouch, look at that. Another encirclement. And we have taken Beijing again for the fourth time this game. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. I'm gonna dump all of you guys here. I'm gonna dump these here. Here, the tanks can deal with this relatively non-mountainous terrain. And I think I will also start investing into an air force, FRFR. Oh, there's another invasion here! How many naval invasions can the US fire at the same time? Design is too expensive. Ah, oh, fuck, I only have 19 points. I thought we had more. All right, in that case, please train a little bit. I need Navy XP. Why is there another one? I'm going to start pumping out some destroyers. I'm gonna keep like three on convoys, but the rest can go on the destroyer. Since we are already working on airplanes right now, how's the American Air Force? Oh, the British, oh. at least the French don't have planes. That is... A front. Just don't look at it. It can't hurt you. All right, the tanks. Uh, we're gonna send the tanks down here again. No! Get away from my China. What is your obsession with China? Truman, stop it. All right, we can do collaboration governments in the UK then. I'm gonna send the woman. Auto repeat. And Mercader, you go on quiet intel. Every front is getting cleared up. Tanks go to Qingdao. And then after that, you can go to Guangzhou. Just traveling the world. Work is never done. Oh, look at this. 2,000 planes. I uh, just don't look at those fighters here. I don't even want to know how many millions of Americans died to naval invasions here. And don't tell me I have to go back here. So let's piss off. It's time for some air support. We have to grind those numbers down. And I don't think I will have the industry for this. The Air Force helped! I suppose we can also start building some naval bombers for this. I'm gonna put like five on naval bombers, I guess. Since I still want to mainly focus on the jet fighters. The jet fighters without jets. And I'm gonna try it on Istanbul again. That that is very unfortunate timing for you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Eastern Poland ceded to the Soviet Union. <laughs> Oh, come on! They get stomping out bugs. You go somewhere, you crush them, and then five other nests appear somewhere. Yes! They're breaking through Italy. Tanks, it's time to go. Oh god, it's only 1955? <laughs> 80 million dead in World War Three, and it's 1955. America is down to 1 million. 113 divisions in here. I guess I'm gonna try sending my mountaineers here. All right, the tanks are here. Go, go, go. Before you die of supply, can you do this? Yes! Soviets, please support me. Just run after us, like, yes! And now the tanks just rush. There shouldn't be anybody here. And the Soviets are holding the top. We take the bottom. Yes, we're gonna get all of France if we push from there. Wait a minute, I have an idea. I can just send all of these guys here. Legitimately, I'm gonna send everyone. I didn't expect to break through here this quickly. That was actually a surprise. Well, I mean, I expected that we would break through quickly, but I didn't expect it to happen now. French resources. Oh my lord. 
And also, all of these allied divisions that are gonna die now. That's the French commune dealt with. Come on, one more Navy XP. Thank you. I can close it finally. Time to invest very heavily into heavy cruisers. These guys are all officially encircled. There's no way out for them anymore. The last defense of the allies, the Maginot line. Kind of weird that it's impenetrable from both sides, but that's just hearts of iron, I guess. And I'm gonna put the French on military governor because I know this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> We don't have any steel deficits anymore. Look at the industry. 400 factories, man. One thing we just have to worry about now is bombing here. Uh, I don't think the allies are gonna like that we own all of France. They're probably gonna send me a very mean letter. There we go. We have the sewers. Lawrence. Oh, God. All right. Lawrence of Arabia. It's time to become Lawrence of Egypt. Where's the majority of our units right now? Ah, probably here. Oh, look at this. Uh, that was probably 600k. That is the first time I've seen it in this session. Holy shit. We finally have divisions. These are garrison divisions because I don't want to lose France. It's way too much industry in here. You know what? I'm gonna let the tanks rampage in the south. The other guys up here. 21% war score. This feels so deserved. We've been playing as Afghanistan. We had three factories. We don't have any cores. It's so amazing how we're just crawling out of this little hole and we're slowly getting stronger and stronger. And like at this point, I am legitimately a country. The only thing that we're really missing is manpower. And like, we can still increase, we cannot increase construction laws. We were bombed. I think I'm gonna dismantle the maggot line. I'm gonna do it just so that the Soviets can't use it against me because I will not be able to take all of France in a peace deal. Okay, as always with Africa, we now get into the very fun part of can you see the supplies because I can't I just love all my genericos that I have I love each and every one of them the same uh, unification what in the <laughs> I've never seen the AI do this. God, we've been playing too long. How do the Soviets have 2,000 factories? At least it won't matter if they run out of manpower. But the final war is... I'm not looking forward to the final war. Okay, let's do crab upgradation on the US as well. So the fighters that we're gonna use here are... You shouldn't ever have to use this, but the AI has... Like, I... They have forced my hand. This is, I have way too much industry. I need to crush the AI. Help, please. It's 1960. I need to end the war. I still have to invade all of South America. China, manpower, please. 1.8 million garrison manpower. Holy shit. It's time though. It's just 10% factory output. It does hurt, but I'd rather do it now than get nuked two times and then I'll never be able to do it again. Okay, wait a minute. I can, there we go. Screw you, Soviets. That's my supply hub. I paid for that. Don't make me get the cast. All right, let's see how great those fighters can perform. I hope they can perform because they were expensive. That's going to decimate the British Air Force. It's been a while since the game crashed the last time for me. 78 out of 15. No piss off. 13 out of 15. That's more like it. Just the Congo line fleeing because they said, oh, we don't have supply. Another supply hub will be constructed. General. The US has up to 30,000 fighters, but they have up to 28,000 planes. How curious. A capital ship, five carriers, just for the price of a few dinky naval bombers. Damn. Okay. The British have forced my hand. They have forced every bit of it. Is this stupidly expensive for no goddamn reason? Well, it does have range. That's the only thing I care about for my strat bomber. <laughs> Let me just position it in... I think Italy is fine. No! It got filled up by junk! It crippled our range! I have to dismiss this plane again. And then we deploy this and immediately press specialized air wing. That should make it so we only get to keep this and look at this. Except for Japan and Alaska, we can nuke everything thing in the world. Sadly, we only have 22 nukes, but I'm gonna make sure these count by nuking Africa. But genuinely, if we nuke Africa, we can push into the UK and then, then we get the collaboration government on the UK. It is not even that bad of an idea to nuke here. Like, I'm not just memeing. And I think I'm already gonna get someone ready for Dover, which is very unusual. I also think the UK isn't gonna put up any fight whatsoever. Would you look at that? We have uh, another zoo here in Africa even. 
<laughs> the Philippines have capitulated. Oh my god. I guess I've really weakened the allied navy. I'm just gonna drain all of the Chinese manpower. <laughs> Churchill, would you mind if I nuked that just once? Let's nuke once more. That's just so worth it for all of the manpower that is getting drained there. All right, can we do naval invasion support with these guys? We do have superiority. Let's go. Hugh Coconut Mall. I'm going to do a very interesting strat today. Arrow, we're also going to nuke these guys once more before they leave because that's just a lot of strength. That's gone. <laughs> the Balkan tank just spawned. <laughs> what? We didn't even take London. And there we go. Our detection cruiser. You get the spy glass. And then we just pump out 5 billion of those as well. That way we can actually spot the American Navy. British Malaya joins now. Oh, it's far too late now, my friend. Oh, we sunk the entire British Navy. Just, just look at this. They were trying to flee the Isles and they were just intercepted completely. We have these guys ready. We have... I'm mostly just interested in getting more war score at this point. Oh, that's ice. Learn dealt with oh god the germans no all right let's drop in greenland three of you that should be enough the us usually doesn't put troops there let's just get a navy over here i guess let's naval invasion support there we go we are going oh, i love america why would you ever guard greenland especially after europe has already fallen eh, pff, nothing to worry about my friend as always when you land in greenland infrastructure airport aa radars okay my supply capital is still in tehran even though that makes no sense and then just bump this to level five there we go with that we have ensured proper supply i guess let's go for norfolk again we could also send some troops down here to help a little bit with whatever is going on here but i'm just not going to i love the ai this is not a mine laying destroyer no the Soviets are going okay uh okay okay okay, okay. navy is ready we are just gonna do naval support we are going to say this goes all right venezuela welcome to war colombia you're next all right, there is resistance. There was resistance. Boop, boop, front line with everybody. We draw arrow. All right, and then these guys just micro a little bit. If the US wants to navally invade us, they can... They can certainly try. I don't think Truman saw this coming. How could he have seen communist Afghanistan invading him? Brazil is not a major. Maybe they're gonna become one once the US capitulates. That's uh, a bummer. Okay, okay. Now we have to be very, very careful. 193 states. Did we at least get... Oh, okay, we at least got our compliance on the US. Uh, I guess we can just do this and the Marines should work out. All right, let's go in. Arabian Republic. Holy shit, that is a coalition. I can't wait to do this. Insert how many countries there are in Hearts of Iron. Times, all of this in South America. Collaboration government. China, you are definitely a corner fox, I can tell you that much. Definitely need field hospitals. We only have all of China. Let us click this button about 342 times. Ah, shit, I can only click it 91 times. All right then. Oh shit, oh, fuck, I... Oh, Zimbabwe and Botswana. I don't want you to be here. I was busy looking at something, man. National referendum. There we go. Hang on. Why are there only carriers in this fleet? That could have been an expensive mistake. If Venezuela actually had a navy, that could have been so expensive. I'm a moron. How did I steal the template? All right, anyway, uh, this is what I wanted to do. China doesn't have any divisions in the field. Don't think I can convert you to... Ooh, I can convert you. This whole preparation for World War IV took me almost two hours because I had to spam out 700 divisions. I had to place them on the Canadian border, the Mexican border, the French-Spain border, the French-Italy border, Indonesia, French Benelux border, like eight fronts in Africa because of all the Spanish colonies, Soviet North Africa, Yemen, Oman, Qatar, all the little states that Turkey got from the Allies. And then I still have to man the Iraq and Iran border next to Turkey, the Caucasus, as well as the front for our actual core territory. You know, the big as Soviet Afghanistan border as well as the Afghanistan-Pakistan border. And then there's two more smaller pockets that you also have to defend because of impassable terrain. And it is completely ignoring port garrisons as well as South America, Alaska, shitty islands and bottom Vietnam. And that's only the army. We still have to assign all of those divisions to generals, group them into field marshals and distribute them into theaters because I sure as hell I'm not gonna play like the AI apart from the 2000 divisions that I have at this point. Oh, and did I already talk about the Air Force? <laughs> I guess I didn't. We also have to contest 140,000 Soviet airplanes. 
as well as whatever the fuck the rest of the common turn has to offer. Which pretty much just means we have to start deploying thousands of planes and train them, get air bases everywhere, radar for them, and CAS would of course also be neat, but it's just making things too complicated for the beginning. And as funny as it is to see me not guard my ports, I did not take this chance. I grouped my navy into different theaters, but for that I first have to make proper navy groups. So I went ahead and created like five templates so that we have a balanced strike force, some raiders, some escorts and so on. And then I started splitting the navy up. We needed raiders for the Atlantic, we needed two admirals for the east and west coast, we needed one to protect France and Britain, we needed at least two to protect the Med and our mainland. <laughs> when I started this I made the joke that this feels like wiki to army management. But this was so much worse. Will have nightmares about this. Three million men in the Air Force! They have a bigger Air Force than some countries have armies! I hope you enjoy this game. Please subscribe. I'm also not gonna do collaboration governments on the Soviets. Because if we've made it this far, we might as well finish it proper. Let's just quadruple check. Everybody should be. Wait, you don't have an. Because we left the faction, these guys were stuck. Thank fuck, I quadruple checked. Oh, uh, no, Ethiopia. Bro, I am so not. You're going on brutal oppression. I don't give a shit. Rwanda, if you want to tussle, you'll have to be ready to dance. Right, uh, th thankfully that didn't just take 30 days off of my attention. Are you coming in? Oh, it's a lot of divisions on the front. Come on, don't be a wanker. All right, I guess I'll have to justify then. The Soviets are really scared of us, huh? Okay, never mind. Holy shit, game is lagging. <laughs> the Soviets have way too many puppets. 75.1, that's enough percent for me. Oh, actually, if the Soviets are pushing in here, we can also start nuking. That's great. Get out here. Oh God. Ace pilots, let's do the fallback line. I'm gonna send a few divisions back so they can entrench already. China, you can become free after the war, but please, until then, you have to hold. You have to stay allied. I cannot afford to field this manpower on my own. Okay, they have started to funnel planes into northern France, it looks like. Let's match them then. Oh shit. It's too focused on other fronts. Oh, we lost the air zone in Afghanistan. Okay, wait a minute. Do we where's Okay, we have Cass here. Um, the Cass, which is gonna shuffle over here. Cass doesn't fucking matter at all right now. Shit, shit, shit. Just have to get green air somehow, man. I just need my one cheat button here. Oh god, we are- Fuck. That fleet still hasn't arrived. Where are you going? But now we have a problem. Because now we don't have fuel anymore and now I- Oh, fuck. I have to say, army doesn't fucking matter. Air matters the most. Navy matters a little bit. Again, it's just 1.7k- What? Ah, uh, delivery blocked just for everything. And why is delivery blocked? I honestly think the game is just confused right now. Like it's trying to send the resources in a very weird way. At this point, I just used the console a little bit to investigate and I really think the game just got stuck because as soon as I loaded back into the game, this happened. Should've just <coughs> reloaded. I'm a software engineer, I should know those things. Oh fuck, they got the air zone while we were out of fuel. No, they took out every single airbase. Fuck this game. Airbases just don't exist anymore. You know what, I think it is time to go for construction repair. That's probably very good. Oh no, this is, no. We're gonna create some sub hunters. Yeah, honestly, I don't really care about submarines anymore. The Soviets don't have a big navy anyway. Yes. Keep on grinding up. I don't think you're ever gonna run out of factories or planes, if we're being honest, because you do have 1.5 thousand military factories, but maybe manpower at some point. He's at zero. My plan right now is just clean up Africa, keep on holding in Europe because like they're grinding up here, that's very cool. And then potentially take out Spain first. They're very isolated. Wait, what? Yu Peng, the Ethiopian general. I think I have to brush up on my geography a little bit or history, I guess. God, this is so fucking scary. <laughs>
Kabul can fall so easily. Like, there's just one division here. Like if, oh my god, why, why does Italy also have so much manpower? What's wrong with these people? Bro, we've had three world wars in this game alone. How do you still have manpower? Sorry, Somali. Didn't see you there. I know you wanted to chill, but uh, Ethiopia is at war with me and that's your overlord. And Ethiopia is at war with me because the Soviets declared war on me and they are their overlord. So I guess you have to die. He can just become everything I want him to. Ah. <sighs> Look at that. Half of the population of Ethiopia. What a bummer. That's what you get for releasing... What was it? Central Africa. 175,000 enemy planes. And let me guess, the Soviets still have 140k. Oh! oh we've dealt 10,000 damage to the Soviets. I'll never be able to. I can go for a buffer overflow. The only way I can annex China at this point is by glitching the game so that the contributed war score loops back around. I've actually done this before by sending too much land lease and making it impossible to annex Hungary. Oh, the Soviets are down to 2 million men in the Air Force. Wow. We could either completely disarm or we can just conscript every single man that we have. Certainly no in between. All right, Spain. Sadly, there is a little thing called the Ardennes here. So I do have to drop some nukes. I hope you can. Lucien to me. And with that, we should be able to break through. That's for anarchist Spain. <laughs> okay, uh, I have uh, no clue. No clue where I should attack now. Mexico would be one option. Honestly, I think Germany, the Benelux is also relatively fine. I just really don't want to open this can of worms. It's just such a big front that we'll have to man. But I guess we're gonna try. I'm gonna nuke these two provinces, soften them up a little bit, actually. Here we go, that was one million men almost. East German Netherlands, how did you get puppeted by Germany? Isn't Germany... Oh, they got free. <laughs> No, US, I'm sorry. Once we're done with East German Belgium and East German Netherlands and East German East Germany, then I can think about the US. I didn't really plan on doing this, but I think we're just gonna take out Germany before we do anything else here. But we are gonna overstretch then. Okay, let's take out Denmark then. The front is getting a little bit dangerous now. So I'm, I'm not gonna push into Poland. I would like to take out Berlin. Not gonna go for more than that. We have Berlin. Now I do have to be very careful because we're already getting stretched. So I'm just going to do something like this. And we're gonna try and push into the Magino. Meanwhile, the rest just try and hold. What the fuck? The Swiss are setting up gold trade with us. Oh, yes, brother. Okay, come on. You don't have to nuke it three times. It's just Bornholm. Yes, yes, Switzerland. Give me your gold. Woo! <laughs> Look at this small little pocket. And they're also desperate. They're trying to break through. But you're not gonna be free. I can tell you. And I can even promise you that much. The common turn is getting a little bit uppity. I'm preemptively gonna nuke a little bit here. I kind of wanted to see the whole number here. Okay. That's probably 4 million men. Because that was 1.5 that we just dealt. 3 million men here. Plus there's still a little bit here. That's a pretty decent sized pocket if I do say so myself. Yo, Switzerland. Yes, yes, yes. I'll take your entire gold. Seriously, I am disappointed in Stalin. He's just not doing anything. He could be disbanding air force. He could be disbanding navy. He could be disbanding units. But he's just sitting here on a zero manpower and he's not even pushing. Hey, that's not my Soviet AI. So, uh, feel free to post this on Reddit for the encirclement. Actually, for real though. That's 200 divisions. Thank God that Switzerland is on our side because otherwise... I think I would be trialed for just about five war crimes. They did push us a little bit back, but honestly, do I look like I care? I'm just gonna do this again. 1.3 million for 32 million. Ah, oh, shit, I got oh, Austria. I got all of Austria as well. You know what? Uh, I'm just gonna let the tanks rush into Czechoslovakia. And I'll let the AI deal with whatever the fuck just happened here. <laughs> That's a lot of 30 divisions. Didn't even mean to do that. Don't make me nuke you. Please just drop your hats. <laughs> I just love how this is just a stalemate. We haven't done anything in the past two years. There we go. I think that's gonna help. <laughs> this is just gonna be this for the next four hours. We need to push through. We, uh, 
I need to speed this up. That's exactly why I didn't want to push in here. This is just such a huge front to defend. And the Soviets are just gonna pour in every single unit that they have. Although a few more of those advances from the Soviets and I don't think there will be any Soviets left. Luxembourg is out again. Oh, come on! Stop nuking Bornholm! I can't create divisions anymore. The game is lagging too much. Ooh, I even counted to 24 without counting. And it's just a couple of red bubbles. So this is perfectly fine. I'm gonna move the tanks then. I'm not going to focus on the Germany front anymore. We do have a lack of strength here. Let's see. What are you missing? Probably medium tanks? Wait, what? Just manpower? I guess that should resolve itself. I'm just not sure why it takes you so long to get manpower. There's just nothing here. This is so pathetic. All right, Mexico, you are in my sights. I am just gonna nuke for good measure. I think we've already broken through a little bit. But again, it's shite terrain. Once you have Italy split up, once you have the south split up, Italy is lost. And if you wanted to be efficient, you could also, you know, we could also do something like this. Push up to Lugano. That way all of these will be encircled. I guess one thing we can do, we can take Zaman Sharkansi. You unassign and you join this front. So we have more stats down here. Doesn't matter if we're pushing with infantry at this point. They are so out of supply, out of strength. Oh, there's nothing here. You've seen it once, you've seen it twice. Let's just finish off Italy. Look at this, there's five divisions here and that is just all of Italy that we're gonna get. As for the north, we could push a little bit further, but I'm also just kind of fine with not doing that because it's just so blah. Again, they're importing from British Malaya. I am not sure how you're doing this. British Malaya doesn't exist. How do you only have 2000 guns? I just really don't want to start any pushes here. <laughs> it just doesn't sound fun, if I'm being honest. I guess I am going to send the tanks over to Mexico and we're just gonna play with South America for a while. I have to get all of these justifications in anyway. This is all very nice terrain. There is a river here, but the tanks should still make it. I I am going to give you guys adaptable though. We can also set some protection up here. We do have protection all over here. That is Mexico split up. El Salvador would like to create a faction with us. The South American Confederation. Well, I can get you into my faction if you really want to. All right, we're gonna push up to Northern Manitoba so that we have East and West Canada. El Salvador, I'm coming in. Nicaragua, I'm coming in. It's that easy. Holy shit, that's a lot of infantry equipment. And then we can also nuke the airports. That's gonna take on all the planes that are stationed there. That is probably the quickest way to get rid of the Soviet Air Force. Did I just nuke 3 million men? Oh god, we have to win this war. I don't want to be trialed. I don't care. Push on both sides. Can we take Vancouver? It is beautiful, is it not? Ah, oh, I know why I don't like fighting in Canada, man. It's just so fucking ass. Please, just let me move somewhere. It's like Russia without the fun parts. And also, this, this just doesn't look fun. 5 billion pockets. Tell the tanks to go. If that, it should be possible. The orc is very low, but maybe it's gonna work regardless. <sighs> With maybe, I mean it will work regardless. Pushing is so complicated. I truly don't know how those content creators can right click. Would you look at that? These guys are not connected. All right, those tanks, they are going to da 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 Costa Rica. I'm really not looking forward to suffering. I think I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> I'll have to do this like nine times from Central America alone. Okay, that's Turkey dealt with. The worst part about capping countries is just the borders. Why are you not shuffling to this front? The next time I invade Turkey, I'm just gonna fall back. I'm gonna cap them and then I'm gonna fall back, let the enemy take it all, and then we're gonna recapture it. You know what? I didn't really plan on doing it, but there's nothing here. All of these fronts are just way too messed up to really deal with any of this. That is a pleasant pocket here. Legitimately, the biggest mistake you can do in Hearts of Iron is capitulating a country. With those challenges, I always regret it when I capitulate someone. Uh, why would you move there? Just go to fucking roads, you morons. Holy shit. I'm gonna lobotomize those fuckers. Why are you all going to this front? 
Yes, look at the encircle more. Just a casual two million. All right, where are my stupid tanks? Guess what? You're gonna do that same shit again, but this time you are not gonna fail me. Of course, none of these suppliers are linked up as well. This is so amazing. I fucking love Arts of Iron. There we go. Valikan, you have deserved a vacation in Argentina. I said... You deserve a vacation in Argentina. That was not an offer. Holy shit. How did Stalin lose so many planes? I know I didn't look at it for a while, but that's still crazy. I love it so much when I go somewhere for a campaign and then I have to return a few years later for no fucking reason. Actually, that was because I was too lazy to defend all of this. So I suppose that is on me. Oh, I sure hope the AI knows how to deal with this. Those six Brazilian fronts. No, I'll have to do all of this in Brazil. Bro. I guess I can already look forward to this not working in the Amazon as well. Why would I want to keep a front line when I'm pushing? I could just lose the front line and capitulate. That would save me, at the time of this, 19 hours of my life. And it's gonna be even more. I was dealing with Turkey. I completely forgot about you. I'm so sorry. I'm true, you dummy. Bro! Drop it! I don't wanna have to do this again. All right, this is stupid what I'm doing here, but we are going to push into Konstantin Istanbul with tanks. Oh, this is perfect. I have the straight bug. I cannot push into Konstantin Istanbul. It would have been all too easy. Am I gonna have to do a fucking naval invasion for this crap? I guess a naval invasion it is. I really don't wanna do this, especially not with the tanks. Soviet Air Force is down to 50,000 fighters. Oh, can you please stop? I don't want to draw this front line again. I've drawn it like four times already. No more. Wait, 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 wait. I am honestly just gonna do this for the rest here. Saves me a lot of headache. Would you believe that this is four fronts? I would have said that it was two, but thank God the Amazon exists. This game would have been boring otherwise. All right, those tanks are gonna go over here, attack immediately. They just need to drive over here so we can get the infantry from here to support the tanks. Because apparently I cannot just walk over to Istanbul. That is far too complicated. There we go, please. Oh god, fuck off. No, no. Stop, Badfield Marshal. Please just move, guys. We can also form Super Afghanistan, uh, right, per Persia? Yeah, if we gave a shit about Cyprus, we could form Persia, but even if I conquer the world, I'm not gonna form Persia. This is about sending a message because I've already lost, so I cannot win. Why are those tanks so fucking pussy? Oh, you're not assigned to die. I fucking hate my life. Layer 8 is truly a harsh and cruel mistress. Just take out the United Balkan Federation and then all of our units are gonna get encircled, as it should be. That's not what I was looking for. There we go, that's what I was looking for. And look how beautiful those borders are. I wanna puke. They are the Panzer Elite, born to compete, DMCA. Come on, Hungary. There we go. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm gonna continue. Let's push into Czechoslovakia. The infantry might not be able to hold, but the tanks are just pushing way too fast for it to matter. We don't even have one division for every tile here. Solid strategy. Let's just invade Germany. That has always worked in a world war. It's my secret trip. Trip? Tip. Oh no, I'm gonna get all of the stupid Poland events now. Oh, industry has been sabotaged in a province that you own. And I really care about this now, especially now with my 2.2 thousand factories. I'm gonna care about two roads that some Polish person blows up. Guys, 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 guys. You have to hurry the fuck up because you are getting encircled right now. We're probably gonna lose the pocket here. Okay, these guys are technically all encircled right now. So tanks are gonna go down here. Not that this front is technically secured. Now the encirclement. In case it is not clear, I don't really give a shit anymore. I just want this game to end. For playing efficient, you obviously do not make an encirclement such as this one. No, don't, don't, don't tell me. Why is this front only here? the AI so much. Ah, yes, I love it. Just look at this. There's not a single front here. We're gonna lose all of the bullets again. The ride will never end. It will never end. You Fox, just hold this, please. I fucked up. No. I might have just lost the game. No. 
I forgot about this front. I thought I still had some of the blue guys here. There we go. Might as well capitulate Poland. The last one in the Western Europe bunch. All right, America is officially secured. There's an encirclement, but I don't give a shit. That's only 14 divisions, or 13 even. That's so little, I can't even count that small. Portugal, you are next on the list. Ho ho ho, you stay here. You deserve this, all 60 of you. Why did only one part of Portugal capitulate? Oh fuck, I forgot about this part of Portugal. Send the tanks in, because this could be come a big trouble. Poland can no longer sabotage me, yes. I guess we're gonna get pushed back again because I don't have divisions on the front, but the common turn is starting to have fewer troops than we do so i am fine with just making another one of those stupid semi encirclements wait oh fuck they were guaranteed by france i forgot that the french commune was still part of the allies after nato was formed that is obviously my mistake oh my lord no okay wait a minute i can deal with this i can deal with this i don't want to deal with this i just want to fucking audio jungle this is no longer fun i think what i have to do is fall back with these divisions you know me falling back is for losers we are going to conquer this and then watch the front line crumble and we're gonna get pushed back to the netherlands again and then we are just going to do the whole same fucking thing again push into belly push into Warsaw, push into my ass. I think it's relatively obvious that I'm losing my sanity. It is insane that I have to, in this war alone, capitulate Luxembourg four times already. We're talking about Luxembourg here. <laughs> All right, the Khan, we are going to do a pincer attack with you. And we are just overrunning with our tanks. I forgot about another Portuguese colony. I guess I'm no longer a map nerd. The common turn does not have 1000 divisions anymore. That is truly pathetic. And that's despite me increasing the size of the common turn we did have first poland but what about second poland ah they don't have any divisions i don't really care about them then oh yes guys please why would you ever take out greece when you can just leave the front of course i can't move through here there's no way i could move into this this island look at this there's so many enemy ships here never mind that we are outnumbering them 10 to 1 and we have fucking aircraft carriers and everything here now those two tanks cannot move over the straight the straight is dangerous. I guess that's at least really chill. We could also relatively easily invade Vladivostok, so except for Mongolia, we have every front with the Soviets, and I guess Finland, Norway, which we could bother with, but I am not going to, because I do value my time at least at least a little bit. Ooh, very nice. We have the greatest potassium in the world. Oh, look at this faction mode. Uh, it's just like This does it for me. Just seeing all of them capitulated. Pushing into Soviet Union from down here is not better than doing it normally. It's still Kazakhstan at the end of the day. The Soviets with 200 divisions in 1970. That is so incredibly sad. Oh, would you look at that? Another front that was left open right next to our capital. I love it. That's gonna work. 50 tanks for Sweden. Let's just focus on Norway right now and pretend that Sweden doesn't exist every day and ever. Come on! Let me get in there, you pricks. No matter how many times you reinforce, I'm gonna nuke it every single time. Okay, I don't care. Let's just level Tron time to the bottom of the sea. That way we don't need the port anymore. All right, you are also getting leveled. It's just that easy. Pushing is so easy. Like There's no way anybody should ever capitulate. It just nuked five times. And I love it. The entire Swedish AI just left the front. Confused. All of my tanks also left the front line. Not confused. Just fucking stupid. Look who's ready to join the fun. And because it is Switzerland, we have to soften the bride up a little bit. Now, this could be fine, but I'm just gonna go for another round. Let's have another round tonight. That's the only correct way to deal with neutrals, especially neutrals that have stupid focus. I swear to fuck, if that isn't enough to capitulate them. Oh, 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 I love Paradox. I wish I could have known them sooner. Oh, come on. I have to take every single fucking city. Or do you have your stupid bus? Don't tell me the Swedes have their bus. I think they do. The Peralbiden. Great, now I just have to find it in that one place. It will capitulate when it has 0% or less. Gotland. Um... What in the fuck happened here? I love all 
Auto pathing! Auto pathing has completely fucked my front line. What? Because they can't go through Istanbul. These guys are auto pathing through Moscow, through the Soviet Union, through Finland, through Sweden, through Denmark, Germany, Poland, Czechoslovakia, in order to get to the front where Ukraine is. Bro, this game is rotten and I don't want to play a single minute more of this. Fuck it. If you want to die, so fucking be it. I'm not gonna micro a single infantry anymore. I'm just gonna take a look at those stupid tanks. I'm gonna build some supply hubs and dockyards and ports for them and call it a day. There's Ulu. Please just go there. Yay. I had to take every single province that Sweden owns. That is why paradox. Like, seriously, why? Why is that a thing? I think it is time for this. If the game doesn't care anymore, then so do I. Green arrows everywhere. 4.4 million to 19.8. So fun. 1.3 million planes destroyed. Almost 1 million land combat damage. Fucking drive. You have an order, so make use of it. Es war ein Befehl, Bruder. Was soll die Scheiße? I'm done. If you can tell whatever the fuck this is supposed to be, then congratulations. Please write it in the comments. I think that's how an invasion of the Soviet Union is supposed to look. Look, there's Stalingrad. Uh, there's another Stalingrad. Here's all the Soviets that died. Give me like 10 minutes now. 44,000 points. Um, yeah, I... Mm. I'm gonna get right on that. We're gonna industrialize the Gobi Desert with a few supply hubs. You are an empire. And if you enjoyed this video, then I can offer you this world conquest of Luxembourg. And honestly, it is one of my favorite videos to date. Like it just